History affects us every day. Spanish philosopher George Santayana is credited with the famous quote, those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Over the last couple of years, the intersection of heritage, governance, and how citizens interact with pieces of the past has been present in the public eye. Americans all across the nation are beginning to question the history around them, and many are noticing that the monuments and historic fixtures in their communities are unsolicited reminders of a darker time in our nation's history. Something needs to change. When we talk about the protests that brought that statue down and is bringing down other statues right now, it is really important that we recognize that there is a rich legacy of resistance to racist symbols that dates back to the moment that these objects were erected. This is where we come in. Welcome to the Monumental Project, how historic sites and monuments of yesterday affect us today. As the official companion podcast of the Monuments Toolkit program, we will be diving deep into the pieces of American history found across the nation and how the stories they carry impact the modern day American citizen. The goal of this podcast and the program at large is to answer the question, how do we address monuments of oppression? What are our options for dealing with painful pieces of our past? How can we learn, heal, and move forward? By the end of this season, we'll have a better understanding. We will be sitting down with historians, artists, community organizers, and even local citizens to hear what they have to say about the monuments in our parks, our school districts, our town centers, and everywhere in between. In order for us to heal as a society, we need to confront and face history in its totality. At U.S. Icomos, we believe that how we interact with our past can help us shape the future. After listening, we hope you feel the same. I'm Miles Ezilo, and this is the Monumental Project.